Hey, traders. <laughs> what are you doing here? Come on in. Come on in. We have a, uh, a lot of videos to make, okay? So I had some time today, uh, tonight. It's uh, Thursday, okay? Um, decided I want to make some videos for YouTube. So <laughs> hello, YouTube. How you doing? See that, uh, that number? <laughs> yeah, it's going to stay that way. Nobody's uh, Nobody's here, it's just me and you. So I uh, poured myself a glass of wine and, uh, excuse me. <sighs> Dry, okay. We're going to go through options basics, okay? What are they? What the hell are they? What do you do with them? Are they better than <laughs> just buying shares? Like our grandfathers? Yes, they are. They can be, maybe, if you're into it. Um, what I'm gonna teach you today is basically, you know, what is uh, what is options? So let's get into it, okay? Uh, essentially, I don't even need to pull up anything yet, but options are a different way of going long or short on a stock. Long being to, you know, buy it, to sell it later at a higher price, and short being to sell it now and buy it back at a later price. Uh, obviously, if you buy something and you sell it later, you want to buy it cheap and sell it a bit more expensive. You want to short something, you want to sell it now at a high price, and buy it back when it's cheaper. Both scenarios, uh, <laughs> you're making some money, some, you know, some cheese. <laughs> okay, uh, so trading options, a little, little different, but uh, more or less the same. So you can either buy calls or buy puts, and that's the basics of it. Okay, calls being a long position and puts being a short position. Uh, and that's that's essentially it so you know how do you do it it's uh, it's something you do have to apply for in your broker uh, typically you'll lie to get there and uh, say that you have five years experience and they'll uh, let you do it <laughs> and that's about it make sure it's not a margin account um, what is an options contract it's essentially you know it's a it's a contract instead of buying shares and that contract says that you have the right to purchase 100 shares of whatever stock at the current price whenever you bought the options contract. Uh, that's same with puts, but you just change the wording. You have the right to sell 100 shares um, at whatever price you bought the options contract at. So in both scenarios, you buy calls, you're hoping that the price increases. You're buying puts, you're hoping that it decreases. And the uh, what's nice about the contracts is that they have these different things, you know, these different, uh, Greek, <laughs> I don't even really know. Uh, theta, gamma, delta, and all this stuff, okay? Um, you know, honestly, uh, I'm a day trader. If you're day trading like me, if, if you're not day trading, you care more about that stuff, but for a day trader like me, I don't really care. I'm in a position for, you know, a few minutes <laughs> at a time, okay? Uh, either stopping out for a very short, quick loss, you know, tight risk sort of situation, or uh, I'm going to kind of ride an EMA and let it ride out, and it's, uh, you know, uh, going to be a weekly. Now, what does weekly mean? All these options contracts, um, they have expiration dates, and so what that means is at the end of that expiration date, um, if, you have an, a mar if you have a margin account, you can actually exercise the contract, but I believe if you do not have a margin account, you're trading in a cash account, um, it'll just sell it <laughs> you just won't have it anymore it, it, it essentially it will expire worthless um, because the value goes to zero because of theta which is essentially time decay um, like a piece of fruit or a vegetable so as uh, you know the expiration date it's kind of like how long is uh, you know a, a vegetable gonna last let's say you knew that date for some reason you're in the matrix you know what I mean so that's uh, the expiration date on that contract. And the closer you get to it, the contract's gonna lose value if price remains flat. But if price goes in your favor, the closer you get to that contract, um, your percentage uh, that you're gonna range in as far as gains and loss is going to get more and it's basically gonna get a little crazier um, due to uh, the other Greeks. But we don't need to get into that. All you need to know is a zero DTE that is a zero days to expiry, DTE being days to expiry. Um, typically, you're gonna play a weekly, so on a Monday, you got five days. Uh, on a Wednesday, you got a few, a couple days, right? Uh, now, certain stocks like ETFs, uh, SPY, QQQ, 
uh, you know them, you love them. SPX is one uh, that was a bit crazy just because of how volatile it is. Uh, those actually have three zero DTE days. Or you can buy until Friday if you want, like the rest of the stock market. But you can actually trade zero DTEs on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And day traders love that because you get those, uh, you know, the stock just moves a little bit on a zero DTE and those things spike up. You, they can run 60, 80% pretty quickly. So that is uh, kind of an allure of trading zero DTEs over weeklies, whereas a weekly in that same move might only move uh, like 20%. Okay. Now, what does a contract how do you buy it in your broker? Where, what are you going to see when you, you go to buy this thing? I'll show you real quick. Okay, let's cut over. This is Weeble. Everybody. Weeble, everybody. Thank you for coming out today, Weeble. Okay. Um, down here. This is a spreadsheet, okay? This is uh, what I'm going to use as my example today. So you have a few things going on here. Okay, here across the top, you have all these dates. What are these dates? Well, based on the knowledge that I just gave you, you should be able to put it together <laughs> that these are expiration dates, okay? So, and that's where this little W comes from. There's a weekly, 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 uh, and I believe this would be considered a monthly. I, maybe it doesn't mean weekly. <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? So uh, just look at the dates, okay? <laughs> Just look at the dates. <laughs> May 27th, that's uh, tomorrow, okay? So that's gonna be a, well, tomorrow's gonna be zero DTE. Today it was a one DTE, and here's your contracts. So this is how you select your dates. Uh, me as a day trader in a move for like five minutes, I'm gonna pick the closest to expiry because I want to capture a larger move in a shorter time frame. Um, but we'll get into more, we'll get into that in a separate video where I go over my strategy. But uh, essentially, across the top, you got your expiration dates. So you're, you're gonna scroll all the way to the left of your day trader and click uh, this one. You can buy leaps and monthlies as well. As you see, it starts to just skip by month, and then you can skip years uh, uh, as well. So you got 2023 over here. Um, but anyway, now down to this confusing mess. What the hell does all this mean? So you wanna look for a few things down here. For one, your volume and open interest. If this is like less than like 200, just probably don't trade options on that stock. That is something you have to worry about. It's like, uh, you know, like a really illiquid small cap stock. You're gonna go to hit market sell and nobody's gonna buy it. Uh, that's the same with options contracts on certain tickers that don't have a lot of liquidity. Liquidity being people buying and selling. You need high volumes of people uh, to, you know, put these contracts off onto, right? Um, and so, what you want to see is stuff like this. So this is QQQ, obviously it's an ETF. Um, you got 11,000 open interest over here, uh, 39,000 volume. Uh, that's, that's looking great. These are heavy in the money, um, which gets to another point. Uh, in the money means that whatever you bought the contract at, the strike price, which is down the middle here, um, that, that price is what you have the right to exercise 100 shares at with that contract, okay? That's the strike price. Um, so in the money is when the price of the stock gets to the price that you bought your, your call contract at. So let's say you bought uh, today. Here's, here's today right here. Let's say you, over here you bought, um, I don't know, 298 calls on QQQ. And you bought it right here. Okay, that ripped up and eventually it hit $300. Well, those calls would be considered in the money because you bought them for $298. And now they're very valuable. Um, these are selling for uh, $480, which we'll go over in a second. Um, yeah, on the left is always calls, on, on the right is always puts, unless you change that, it's up to you. But I typically just look at volume, open interest, and the strike price. Uh, typically for me, I go a couple out of the money because they're a bit cheaper. I like to buy, buy them for like $300. Or two hundred dollars each. Um, anyway, that'll be more of my strategy later. The bid and the ask. Okay, the price. How much are these things gonna cost me? What's it gonna run me? All right. Uh, so the bid and the ask are gonna be on the option spreadsheet as well. Um, the ask is the uh, the higher range of the price that they're selling at. And the bid is the uh, the lower range, basically that they're buying and selling at. I should say. Okay. So typically, I market by these anyway, but. Um, you'll notice it's a 1.71. It's a dollar 71 for $300 calls. Heck yeah, dude! I'm gonna load up a hundred of those like a penny stock. 
No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to multiply that uh, that number by 100 just because it's worth 100 shares. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I, I don't know else why. That's what I know. So uh, multiply that by 100. And uh, yeah, you're looking pretty good. That's, uh, you know, that's about it. Um, another thing is, uh, I guess what the last thing I'll touch on is IV. Okay, which you see over here to the right. Um, it's a percentage. It's implied volatility. That's what it stands for. And essentially that is going to give your contracts and take away the contracts uh, value very quickly. Um, I know one time I, I was playing Tesla and uh, I, f I forget, there's some sort of news drop in maybe they had ER or something, but I bought calls the day before. And then the day where they were doing ER in the afternoon, the IV just started spiking up because everyone loves to play Tesla. It's so volatile and, and you know, everyone plays that more than maybe SPY and QQQ, right? So I, I bought calls and the price tanked like $50 and I was green on the calls. I actually made money, even though the price went down like $50. Tesla was like red negative 5% or something like that. And I made money. My calls went up and that's because of implied volatility. So the more people buy these things, the, the value is going to increase. Um, that, that's the best way I understand it. I'm trying to keep this very simple and basic. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So that's, uh, you know, let, let's cut back to my, my face and uh, we'll wrap things up here because <laughs> that's, a, that's a video, baby. <laughs> let's go. So that's options basics. Um, maybe we can do some more complex stuff another time. I, I know I'm going to bring Fatal Warrior on the Twitch stream soon. Uh, if you guys want to check me out, uh, you know, like, subscribe at the bottom, please. Uh, I'm on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 100 underscore a million. That is where I am primarily. I'm also on Twitter under the same handle. Um, so please check me out. Subscribe, like, for more, baby, and to enjoy your wine. Have a great night, everybody. Love and appreciate you. Uh, let me load up the screen here so this transition looks cool. There it is. 100 out.